Hello everyone and welcome to another update on the market for today. I decided to cover British pound versus US dollar. We'll speak about gold market, crude oil, Bitcoin versus US dollar and dollar index. I will start with the British pound versus US dollar first. So what we can see here is that I have a multi time frame. I have five minute hourly, daily and um, a weekly time frame. So we're watching now first. Let's go and see the higher time frames like a daily and weekly what we have so far. So on the daily time frame, we can see that Mark is trading and having the trouble to go through this uh, 20 day moving average, which is the green one. You can see here we have a uh, the green moving average is a 20 day moving average and we have this blue one, which is a 10 day. So market is pretty much respecting this one at this this point. But still, we can see that market is building higher lows, which is um, a good sign. And the market actually um, had rejection and of the 200 day moving average, which is daily, which is this purple line. So as I mentioned in my previous um, updates, so there is a still that big potential uh, for this fake breakout and for the market to do this full fake breakout and eventually to to trade towards those highs at 1.2750 or 1.2800 mark and so now if we check the weekly time frame we can also see there was a big uh, pin bar uh, last week and market rejected of the um, of the 40 week moving average and of the 20 week moving average so that's also a very positive sign going into this week and we can see uh, this morning um, after the climate count change and in the UK that we got uh, initial uh, spike and rally higher and that's uh, uh, a good sign basically because we also had this um, we also have this breakout of the, um, the supply trend line so there is a chance from my perspective for the pound to go higher and even to do this full retest of the highs in next period in next days or so so that's definitely a primary scenario. I will say the downside scenario um, only in case if we can really like um, a sell off. So like and trade again below the 200 day and below 1.2500 area and so on. And there will be a chance for the lower prices if we can really take this pin bar low from last week. Now, speaking of the uh, gold market we can see that the gold market in the weekly time frame is in a key support cluster and there is a 40 week moving average just around where the mark where we got this rejection so we can see here support around 2000 mark a pretty pretty big uh, weekly support uh, we had lots of um, weekly lows there in the last uh, six seven weeks and I will say this is a quite important pivot level um, and no no surprise that we got this rejection and the demand is taking control at this point. We can also see on the hourly time frame that we had some mini bull flag this morning. So market actually went extended here and then rallied and then we have this uh, more like a pop above the this bull flag. And so far it's holding very well and consistent in the price. So there is a chance also uh, for the market to rotate into this resistance area on the daily time frame and to try to get towards the 2043 or even 2060 mark in the next period so definitely this is a primary scenario the downside scenario only in case if you really can uh, trade below 2000 mark and hold below then this can really open a door for the lower prices and maybe uh, for the test of this weekly low it's 1974 but so far, um, definitely demanding control and uh, more likely, um, more likely a chance, uh, give more chance the upside scenario definitely based on this uh, condition here. Now, speaking of the crude oil, <clears throat> we can see that um, we have some consolidation going on the last, um, I'll say four weeks, but also we have here lots of consolidation uh, and um, we have a 200 day moving average 
right around this area here so market actually we broke up we're trading above the 10 and 20 day moving average at this point and the 50 day moving average and um, hourly time frame we can see that market is breaking this area and seems like buyers are in control but still uh, weekly you know the de declining 40 week moving average is just there so uh, there, of course, there is a chance for the retest of 78.85. We had this daily pin bar, so market respected the 10-day rising yesterday, and uh, that's a positive to see for for the crude oil. But watch for 70, let's say 78 or 79 levels, like upside uh, objectives based on this upside scenario. In case of the downside, I really, um, you know, there is all the chance for rotation back and forth. Um, you know for the market to try to rotate back again towards the, this rising 10 day but at this stage i think um, this um, hour looks pretty supportive at this point and um, um, upside scenario is more uh, more likely at this point now speaking of uh, the bitcoin Let's just go and check the Bitcoin chart. You can see the weekly time frame. We had um, actually this daily moving to the EMAs and then the breakout was the key for this upside uh, move. Uh, we can see here pretty much like this uh, tight medical triangle and then the breakout. And the market is just around this pin bar. Actually, we had a breakout of this tail. Of this spin bar and if we go to the weekly time frame that's a pretty important pivot level but the next important pivot level is 52,000 mark based on the weekly highs that we had from have from like end of 2021 so 52,000 mark the hourly is basically uh, still looking uh, pretty constructive I mean it's building the triangle here and consolidation so but the daily is again uh, pretty much extended we have three four five six six days in a row uh, rally and trading above the far away above the 50 and 20 day moving average but still uh, hourly is um, holding very well and if we can have another break of the 50,000 uh, like 400 mark there is potential for the market to go towards the 52,000 mark um, in case the downside breakout um, and hold below the 49,500 there is a chance for rotation back maybe towards the 48,500 or even 48,000 mark but so far just building the tight consolidation and speaking of the dollar index again dollar index is in a overall in the um, bigger consolidation uh, the weekly is declining last week if we check last week for example uh, it's pretty bearish sign we have the big resistance at 104.25 and the last week market uh, tried to break and uh, but we left just a big tail and close well off the high uh, and into the declining 40 week moving average so that's not really a good sign the dollar looked pretty choppy and uh, based on this weekly close uh, last week um, I think there is a more chance for a downside movement maybe even towards uh, this 103.65 mark or this 20 day moving average <clears throat> so that will be all for this update guys i hope that you did enjoy have a good trading day and speak to you from tomorrow morning